This exercise is called the bicep curl. Now there's many ways to do this. Um, I'll have Jessica hold it with her palm facing up and she'll use two. And you can do both arms at the same time or you can do one arm and then the other. So go ahead and try that and come all the way up. Mm -hmm. And you again, you want to keep those shoulder blade muscles engaged. So you're doing just a little bit of a squeeze in between your shoulder blades. That looks good. Now try both at the same time. Good. And you always want to go down slow when you're going with gravity so that you're keeping it very controlled. That looks good. Now let's show from the back so that people can see what's going on with your shoulder blades. So she keeps this nice and engaged as she does a bicep curl. That looks good. Okay, and a side view. Good. Okay, now a hammer curl is where you start out with your thumbs pointing up, and as you come up, you do a little bit of a palm up position. Mm -hmm. Good. Perfect. This exercise is working the tricep muscle, which is in the back of the arm. And what you want to do is you want to bend over, have your upper arm parallel to your thorax, and then you just kick it back. And I'll have Jessica try this. So notice how her upper arm is parallel to the floor, and then she's just going to move from her elbow, trying to get that arm straight. So it's working this nice tricep muscle. Notice also that her spine is nice and straight, so she's not causing any other problems in the low back. Good. Okay, so as you can see, Jessica is supporting herself on her thigh so that she's staying nice and comfortable. And you can also see that she is staying nice and neutral in her neck. She's not looking up to put her neck into hyperextension. It's staying in line with her spine. Excellent. Good.